Hello there. We are out here at the Catawba Queen today, and uh, we would like, my name is Margie Deckard. I'm Art Nash's um, business manager, and we would like to discuss something with you. To um, It's called Art's the, want to discuss the origin of Art Nash's creative nature, why I do not focus on learning cover songs. Yeah, good point. Now, do you want to ask me something, or should I just speak? Uh, just go ahead and uh, right. talk. And, uh, well, you know, in, in essence... Explain it to the people. Uh, having been uh, an artist for almost 50 years, uh, starting off as a drummer, uh, working my way through three record companies, and uh, with Mason Prophet, uh, the band, the drumming, uh, having gone on to do Bach and Roll uh, with drums, all kinds of things, and then switching to guitar uh, about 20 years ago. And I began to write, <clears throat> and I like writing poems. It's something I've always enjoyed doing. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't play guitar, so I couldn't write music to it. Now, this creative nature of mine, as you can see from the uh, 50 years prior, uh, has always been uh, with uh, original concepts, Mason Prophet, Bach and Roll, uh, whatever programs my, that I end up doing. So I'm not really, uh, my creative nature does not really get stimulated very much by learning uh, lyrics and music from people other than myself. It comes from a spirit inside of myself. Uh, not everybody's born with this spirit. Uh, you cannot make or force somebody to write lyrics in a song together. I'll give you an example. Uh, three days ago, Margie and I were up at Love Valley, uh, North Carolina, which is a, an old west town where no cars are. It looks like people are one step away from carrying pistols. And uh, we came back and uh, we both had had an experience up there that was very unusual, very special. So Margie said we should write a song about it and send it to the mayor who we met. Uh, I was able over a two day span to recall my memories of the short stay there, write the lyrics uh, of which uh, about Love Valley and the, and the song. And I did that in two days and in most people, to be honest with you, uh, they couldn't do it ever. Uh, so that is my creative nature, Margie. And if you want to ask me something about you knowing me, uh, about the questions you've been asked, Margie, about why Art doesn't know more Johnny Cash songs, uh, I'm explaining now. I will learn these songs as we go along, but that I have written a hundred original songs in the last 20 years. That puts me in a category without too much confrontation of one out of a thousand, uh, one out of ten thousand. Uh, very few people can write lyrics and music together. Very few people can write lyrics. So this has been a gift and a blessing from uh, from God himself, uh, born this way to be a creative soul. And that's why I follow my path, Margie, that why would I stop now utilizing the great gift of being creative originally inside of me with lyrics and music, uh, why would I give that up now uh, just to satisfy uh, the, the whim of the public who would prefer seeing me uh, play uh, possibly a, uh, a cover song? So uh, that's my whole reason and why I wanted to clarify on this interview why art does not do cover songs by nature. I will learn a cover song by duty and uh, enjoy doing it. Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash, whoever. I learned a, just learned a, uh, an old gospel hymn by Michael English called I Bowed on My Knees and Cried Holy. And it was wonderful. I've enjoyed it. But today we did Tide Will Turn Your Way here at the Catawba Queen. And we're going to do another one uh, that I wrote uh, called Given Freely. And uh, so I say, speak from inside your heart and your soul. That's where 
the true essence of your creativity is. That's where I speak from. I have spoken from there from the day I've been born in particular when I started playing professionally at the age of 19 in 1967. Uh, which is a ways back but the point is I refuse to give in and uh, uh, you might say uh, jeopardize that gift that God gave me of being creative lyrically and musically uh, in a full course menu so I wanted to clarify that with you. yes thank you very much Art for clarifying that why again tell me one more time why do you think other people cannot do what you do it's simple. Uh, why, why can very few people fly an airplane? That's a very good question, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Very few, right? Yes. You have hundreds of thousands of people. One person can do it. I say this. We're each born with a special gift from God. Whatever it is. Uh, could be, um, it could be nutrition. It could be anything. My gift outside of communicating, which I love to do, is being able to send a message through the lyrics with the music and be an, op, uh, be an individual who is an actual recipient of these lyrics and learning myself who I am and with my relationship with God. So we all have a special talent, Archie. It's taking that talent that was given you and not only utilizing, but taking it to the end of your life. Thank you. Thank you very much, Art.